Hello everyone, I'm Alistair, I'm a game developer and I do interactive shows, uh, custom alternative controllers and I also do a lot of messing around with classic video games and hacking of sort of open source emulator software. What you're watching here is me attempting to play Sonic the Hedgehog with an emulator that I modified to make the controls more difficult. So every 10 seconds you're going to see the screen scramble, and that means the emulator has shuffled all the buttons around. I'm using the up, down, left, right and B buttons, and when these buttons randomise, what they do is going to be swapped around between them. So for example, up could become jump, left could become right, I don't know what button becomes what action until I press the button and see what Sonic does on the screen. As I was playing I was speaking aloud into the microphone to record my thoughts and you can see my thought process as I figure out how to use this strange controller. I hope you enjoy it. This is quite hard. It's really hard when the buttons are opposite each other. Uh, sorry. I kind of feel like these moments where a button is exactly where you expect it to be are these, like, brief moments of kind of clarity. Um, you'll notice that as I hold a button down... Oh, that was interesting. And there we go. All that progress. I'm done. Right. So, B is right now, and I need to figure out which one's jump. So, okay, so this is fairly straightforward. I can hold this uh, button down, um, and that will have the effect of continuously in the same button. Ah, just as you figure out what everything does, it changes. Okay. So, it's sit down and. So here this is nice, and you're kind of hoping that this is going to continue, but, uh, you know, it changes. So right and up. Oh, yes, checkpoint! I was like, I know it's going to change soon, so I need to, like, either make progress or get to a, like, safe spot. if I can beat the boss. If I can figure out what buttons it is. Okay, this is good. I need to find out what left is. Okay. Oh, do you really uh, need to use those uh, bits at the bottom right? So those bottom corners are so much more important now. Just like get, just hit once and get down to the bottom corner. Wait 10 seconds and work out what your controls are. Um, that's hard. Act two, let's give this one a go. That's a life wasted. <laughs> this, these piranhas shouldn't be that hard. It's because you come in having no ring, so you like you can't make a mistake. Now I'm near a checkpoint. And I've got room for let it do that, and then try and figure out what's the next way. Oh no, but I can't. 
remember which button's which. Down to jump now. I'm also finding myself pressing, like, if I figure out what jump is, I will jump everywhere just for the protection of it. Okay, that's a kind of cool effect. That, I don't think that's come out of me, which I think that's just, that's always there in the game. I wonder if that's in the cartridge or if that's just something coming out of the emulator. That's a freebie. Yay. I'm just gonna run across as fast as I can, I think. Could very well be finding that. Life I just got totally wasted or not. It does make it that much harder when you... <laughs> Game over. It does make it that much harder when you can't, like, you're always having to relearn what the controls are. But I kind of realise that I take for granted how naturally I take 2D Sonic games, because I spent a large chunk of my childhood and teenage years playing them. Um, <coughs> so like, there's this learning curve that isn't there for me, and it's sort of, I guess in some ways what I'm doing is now putting the learning curve back in, because I can't rely on my knowledge, like I can rely on my knowledge of certain things about this game, but not how to play it, uh, if you know what I mean. Like, it, it, you know, I can't... I have to reapproach the controller as if I'm a beginner, as if this is an object that I kind of understand in theory, but not in practice. I feel like at some point I was starting to get into a rhythm, and that rhythm has just totally gone now. Uh, opposite sides of a rocker. And like that buzz bomber, like that's not, and now I can't. If I go right, I can't go too far to the right there. Well, that's not something that was supposed to be that... Like, I've never... You know, like I said, I've played a lot of Sonic over the years. Usually never have to worry about the bullets from Buzz Bombers and, you know, things like that. Like, there's certain things that you know are hazards, but you're usually... Find, I usually find myself so... Like, okay, right to jump now. Left is jump. Okay, so please don't change. Please don't change. <laughs> I just want that extra life. Finally, okay. But yeah, in the stage show, your know, people would be like a lot of the sort of discussion would be trying to figure out. Oh my god, that was awful. Um.
uh, that needs uh, six buttons because we've got jump and spin dash in there. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, that's tough. It's amazing, like, just how much that particular bit of the level becomes that much harder with the change of control scheme. Um, it's that. It's when the process of figuring out what your buttons are becomes dangerous. That's interesting. Right, so I can just hold that down until I get to the top. And right, okay, so it's down now. Hold down, down, and it, as soon as it gets to the top, it changes. So right and up. Well, I'm finding myself needing to jump just to protect myself because you know you're likely to run into something. <sighs> it does feel like it's getting harder to figure out what the buttons are. <laughs> I don't know why that is. so easy before. That's what I can't get away from. Okay, that's cool. And get rings, that's safe. And now we get onto the very hard section. Ah! Whew. That bit is tough. Like, right now, I don't feel like I'm at developing any strategies or anything. Like... I don't feel like I'm kind of coming up with new approaches to solving, like, these problems and kind of throwing them at, throwing myself at them at the moment. remember which one was which. I knew that left and down were both buttons I wanted to press, but I couldn't remember which one was jump. So it's up is right. And it's all changed. Okay. Oh, checkpoint. I knew that. It's funny, like, there are certain moments where I find myself needing to grip the controller differently because you need to make these kind of very precise, timed, go right a little bit, and then jump kind of moments. Like, where you have these little moments of clarity where you're like, okay, I figured out which button is which. And, and you have that in your head, it's, it's weird because it's like this kind of moment of stress relief almost, like, like for 10 seconds I have this figured out. And you can enjoy those 10 seconds of that sensation of knowing what you're doing. Oh, it's up and down now. That was alright. 
but you get these kind of moments of when you go from having no idea what you're doing to, and I know just to mash at this point. And when everything goes exactly as you wanted it to, like you get this really pleasant sensation of control where you used to have, where you used to have none, like there, like I felt like I very quickly figured out which button was which, and I got to feel the satisfaction of being smart flat as if I, as if I knew, as if I just instinctively knew what those two buttons are, like, having played a lot of Sonic in my life, like when I started playing video games and I was, you know, five years old. I, I didn't know how to... I had to keep on looking at the controller to see what I was pushing. Um, I had to really think about it. I had to expend a lot of mental energy. Um, now I'm not having to do that, and this mod is throwing me into situations where I do have to make those kind of... have those kind of thoughts, and I am constantly trying to figure out how to use this device. And I think there is a thing where we kind of take for granted, you know, that this device is something that we had to learn how to use, like even simple things. Like, I, you know, I first played on a Master System controller, those things only have four directions and two buttons, and I had to look at it to figure out what it was doing, and I think a lot of us, you know, working games or who play a lot of games, I mean, I, I, you could probably say the same thing about anyone who uses a QWERTY keyboard. Like, you forget how hard this was to learn at some point in time. And at one point in time, you were constantly trying to decipher this device. Um, when you get those moments, like here, it's just randomly given me, like, some controls which are the same as they normally are. I need to remember not to keep on jumping into that spike pit. But once, you know, in those brief moments where it is acting as you'd expect it to normally, you suddenly feel like, you know, it's, you feel like it's an extension of your body. Um, which is, you know, you, you hear that talked about a lot when people talk about, you know, the flow state and things like that in games. Um, getting into a state of flow is where you know, you are no longer thinking about, I am operating the game using a controller, you are thinking, you know, you think something and it happens on the screen. You stop thinking about your own input. Um, and this is a mod that kind of... The situation I've created my, for myself is one where I'm deliberately taking away that Oh no, 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 oh I had it, I had it, I had it. Oh, yes, 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 come on. No, 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 no. Oh, that was a scary one. Oh no, the thing's the buzz bomb is gonna come back. Checkpoint, checkpoint. Okay, good. So there's a checkpoint here. I know I'm going to die against the boss, but let's see if I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. And maybe it's just because my brain's getting tired. You know, it's like I said about this not feeling like I've come up with any strategies for how to deal with this. So, at the start of the challenge, I guess I was feeling very adaptable. Um, and now I just don't, you know, my brain is tired to, to a point where I'm no longer adaptable. So, I'm having, you know, it's getting harder for me to think my way out of the problem. 
you know, I'm constantly having to think, what are my controls now? What are my controls now? It's very kind of intense. figure out in time like what buttons do I need to press to get out of that sticky situation. See I feel like with this particular attempt in, until I started thinking about it I felt during that I was starting to get into a flow where it's and then uh, run away. Give a hit, run to a safe place, figure out what my next buttons are. I mean, how much of that was actually just chance? How much of it was just that it happened, but... And there's my signal to start testing. And wait for the signal. No, the timing's wrong. Okay, now I can start testing. So I need to wait for the signal and the ball swing across, and then I go. But oh, I did not figure out. Oh. And now it's safe to test. Oh, that was easy. You get it on. Because the thing is, when you figure out what the buttons are on your first try, it's down on the left. When you figure out what the buttons are on your first try, it feels like. You know, you did that because you knew, not because... Not because you were lucky, you know? Which is weird, but I think that's what... In many ways, that's it's part of the whole control of being... A part of your body thing. Is that you kind of... You feel like... You know, you feel like you got there because you were smart. Um, not because you were lucky, and that's, it's weird that, you know, that's the way my mind works, but that's the way my mind works. This is an exercise in patience now. <laughs> and then wait for it to shuffle, and then the ball comes over, and now it's safe to test. Keep on being patient. Down the left. But I don't have time. Okay, wait for the shift and then just tap. Okay, so it's down and right. Because if I jump completely, he goes onto the thing like that. And that was just lucky that I already seen what down was and registered it. And that's the thing is that you can see it do the thing that you want, but committing it to memory is a different thing. So I think it's left. And um, 
like committing you you see him jump when you press up but then you're like wait which button did i press and you you know like so the challenge of figuring out what the buttons do then committing that to memory like i remembered that down was jump there and then totally forgot which button moved sonic left um it does feel nice to beat robotnik there And now I've got to get onto this thing. There we go. Oh, that, that was a bigger challenge than I was expecting it to be. I'm going to take a little break there. <laughs> 